So I'm back testing another requester tactic. They wanted me to test out Josh Daly's Arteta's dominant 433. So it's on your screen now. If you want to download it, the link will be in the description below. There'll be a source link for Josh's channel and where I got this from, FM Scout. Like I say, in the description below, go show Josh some love. It is his Arteta tactic. So um, we're going to test it with three teams. Main City being one of them and Brighton and Luton. And then we're going to add up the points at the end of the season and see how what it does for our tactic testing league. On your screen now is Main City's best land vote restrictions. And that is where we're going to start. So it's a dream start for Josh as Arteta tactic. Being Arsenal in the Community Shield 1-0. Knocking out Liverpool in the Carabao Cup 4-0. Knocking out Bournemouth in the semi-final of the Carabao Cup. Then in the final of the Carabao Cup, we beat Brentford 1-0. But we did leave this late. 94th minute, Kevin De Bruyne. In the FA Cup though, it's a bit of a poor showing here. Losing to West Ham in the fourth round 1-0. Onto the Super Cup now, where we did beat Sevilla 3-0. Then on to the Champions League, where we topped our group. And it's a pretty tough group. We won four, drew two. We didn't lose a single game in the group stages. We finished on 14 points. Then in the knockout rounds, we done ever so well. Beat Sevilla in the round of 16. We knocked out Arsenal, playing the Arteta tactic in the quarterfinal. It's Bayern Munich. We beat them 2-0 at home. But the way leg, we lost 6-3. On to the Premier League now, where we were fighting it out with Aston Villa for the title. We won 27, we drew 6, we lost 5, we scored 94 goals, only conceded 27. We got a goal difference of 67 and a points tally of 87. We won the league by the skin of our teeth. So let's check out their player stats now. And Harlan, top goal scorer, 41 goals. Kevin De Bruyne doing Kevin De Bruyne type things with 25 goals. Assist wise, Kevin De Bruyne with 24, just having a fantastic season. And the best performer, though, is Haaland with a 7.42, which is fantastic. But I feel a bit hard done by Kevin De Bruyne is scoring 25 goals, 24 assists. Wow. Clean sheets. We've got 31. On to team stats now. And there's actually only one list that we're not on. A very, very good tactic. Most points per game. Second place here with 2.29. But we know we finished top just about. Most goals were top here with 94. Most shots for were top here with 770. Fewer shots against second place here, 261. Best pass completion, eighth place here with 87%. Most possession, fifth place here with 56%. Most dribbles made were top here with 812. And defensively, very, very good. 19 clean sheets, and we only conceded 27 for the season. We are the best defensively in the league. 87 points is a little low. Is a little low. Champions League was disappointing as well, and so was the FA Cup. But a very, very good start. Next up, we're on to Brighton's results in the Carabao Cup. It's a loss in the fourth round against Leeds on penalties. But in the FA Cup, this is very good. We only lifted the FA Cup, beating Liverpool in the final on penalties. But in the Europa League, a little bit disappointing. Rangers topped our group and we failed to qualify. We finished in third place. We won three. Lost three, we finished with nine points. That means we go into the Conference League, where we get knocked out in the knockout playoff round. We beat Lille 3-1 at home, but the way leg, we lost 3-0. On to the Premier League now, where we finished in ninth place, but we do have the FA Cup to our name. We won 14, we drew nine, we lost 15. Goals for 58, goals against 57. We got a goal difference of one and a points tally of 51. On to their player stats, top goal scorer, Evan Ferguson, considering he only started 10 times, 13 as a super sub. He wasn't injured or anything like that. They just didn't play him for some bizarre reason. As you've had to with 14 goals, assists, what do we have? Uh, Gross with 12, March with 12, the best performer. I'm going to give it to, even though it's only 10 starts and 13 as a sub, I'm going to give it to Evan Ferguson. He's got a win tonight with a 7.17. Like I say, a wonder kid, definitely play him. But sadly for Brighton, they just don't do it. But clean sheets defensively, like Main City, was very good. And with Brighton, still very good. We got 15 clean sheets. On to their team stats now. Most shots for were in third place here with 542. Fewer shots against sixth place here, 376. And the other list that we're on is most clean sheets from eighth place here with 11. And that is your lot. But we did win the FA Cup. 51 points is okay. With Brighton, it's not too bad. Last team now is Luton. And it would be lovely if we could just win something with Brighton and Luton. That would be phenomenal. But it's not going to be the Carabao Cup because we lost here in the third round against Aston Villa. 
Well, I pinned all my hopes on the FA Cup, but sadly, we got beat in the third round here 2-1 against Hull. And in the Premier League, well, May not had won the league and we finished in 11th place. We won 13, drew 8, lost 17, scored 62 goals, conceded 69. We got a minus 7 goal difference and a points tally of 47. Well, let's check out their player stats. And it is Jacob Browns, their top goal scorer, 14 goals. Carlton Morris with 12. It seems to be the same pairing for Luton. Assists, what we got? Ogben with 8, uh, Chong with 7. Average rating-wise, Chong with the best performer for 7.01. Clean sheets, not the best. Not good at all. Considering I thought Main City and Brighton both done very well with clean sheets. Luton, we've only got four. On to their team stats now, where most goals were in 7th place here with 62. And most shots for 6th place here with 491. We're on fewer shots against as well. 7th place here with 412. And most dribbles made were in 8th place here with 608. We're on quite a few lists. Um, 47 points. Okay, with Luton. So now just let me add up the points and see where it does come in our tactic test and league. Josh's Arteta's dominant 4-3-3 tactic comes in at the 15th spot at 154, drew 23, lost 37, scored 214 goals, conceded 153. We've got a goal difference of 61, won five trophies and a points tally of 185. Thank you so much for suggesting this tactic. If you've got any more suggestions or tactics for me to test out, leave it in the comments below. And if you need your instructions because you're planning on console, please carry on watching the video because I'm about to run over it. So in goal, we've got a sweeper keeper on support. On the left-hand side, we've got a wing back on support. On the right-hand side, we've got a wing back on support. We've got a ball playing defender on defend. Alongside another ball playing defender on defend. Should have said pause it when need be because I know I always go a little bit too fast. So just pause it when need be. In front of them, we got a defense midfielder on support. In front of him, we got a box to box field on support. To the right of him, we got a Mazala attack. On the left hand side, we've got inside forward support. On the right hand side, we've got inside forward support. Up front, we've got advanced forward attack. Tactile style is attacking. In possession, what do we have? We got attack and whip fairly narrow. We got focus down the left, focus down the right, play out of defense, passing direct is shorter, tempo higher, time wasting never, mixed crosses, run at defense. In transition, what do we have? We got counter press, counter, dispute quickly, roller out. Out of a possession, what do we have? High press line of engagement, a higher defensive line, trigger press much more often, prevent short goal kick distribution. And that is your lot. Thank you so much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And like I say, there'll be a source link for Josh's channel. Please go show him some love. Thank you guys. And I will see you in the next video. See you then.